Hello, my Targaryen babies. Daddy's here to feed you some dragons. Uh, all right, all right, all right, check this out. This is like the seventh video that I've made. These leaks are continuing to just pour out. If you enjoy these videos and you enjoy this content, please do me a massive favor and make sure you're subscribed and turn those notifications on. But also, most importantly, slap a like on this video. Like goal is going to be 42069. <laughs> All right, now jumping right into this, the very first image we have coming from the set of House of the Dragon over there in the UK is an image of a young Laenor Valerion. Now, this is a younger actor who has not been officially announced, and the actor who's playing Laenor hasn't been officially announced either, but it seems as though they're going to be focusing on the backstory of some of these characters. Now, I still haven't quite figured it out, but remember, there are rumors that there's going to be a Sea Snake spinoff. So a lot of these characters that may be appearing in House of the Dragon and will be inevitably seeing their death could still be reappearing in the core list, the Sea Snake spinoff. I think it would actually be best if we sort of did that as a, either a mini series or maybe a set of movies like obviously the main cast was announced first so the story is clearly going to be focusing on them but the fact that they're spending so much time building the backup for this story makes me think that some of these characters may potentially be in the uh, sea snake spinoff now the next image that we actually have oh well actually you know i forgot something there this is not just an image of laner but this is most likely sir joffrey lawnmouth and if you're un unaware of who that is Sir Joffrey, also the Knight of Kisses, was a knight from House Lawnmoth during the reign of uh, King Viserys, the first Targaryen. Uh, Joffrey was rumored to be the lover of Sir Laner. Uh, basically, like, there's... <sighs> There's some back history there, but a lot of people believe, although it's not officially stated in the story, that Laenor much preferred the company of boys than he did to his wife Rhaenyra. So obviously we've got images of the two of them together, but there's basically a backstory involving Joffrey Lonmoth and Sir Kristen Cole. So long story short, at Rhaenyra and Laenor's wedding, the two of them have champions. Sir Harwin Strong is the champion for Rhaenyra, and Joffrey Lonmoth the champion for Laenor. Now, there is, uh, you know, a bit of some mischievousness that goes on at this tourney, but Kristen Cole ends up cracking Longmoth upside the head with the Morning Star, and it's stated that Lanor never left his side. Like, he, uh, Longmoth ended up dying six days later, and the whole time, Lanor was by his side and was weeping. Now, him being known as the Knight of Kisses, and uh, him being Lanor's favorite companion, Lanor actually wanted to name his firstborn son after Joffrey, but uh, Sir Corliss was like, nah, bro, you're not doing that. Um, and Sir Corliss is obviously Laner's father, but he did end up naming his third-born son Joffrey after Sir Joffrey Lonmoth. Now, I don't know if you remember, but a couple days ago, I made a video stating how I th how I, it, it's, it's, it's very clear to me that everyone fucks everyone in this story. And similar to Sir Loras and King Renly, this is going to be a sort of callback to that. So basically, Laner's children are not actually his, and it's not because Rhaenyra was necessarily un faithful by choice but it's just that her husband was gay and maybe in these flashbacks we're gonna get to see that at first Rhaenyra and Lena were close but then they grew apart when they were expected to make heirs and this is why that rumor that Rhaenyra's children with Lena are actually strong boys fathered by Sir Harwin but I don't know you all let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section do you think they're gonna go that route in this story and just sort of moving things along here the next image we have is some Targaryen knights just straight cooling uh they're wearing you know the the traditional black and red of House Targaryen, and uh, this looks like the dude on the far left is the same guy from the uh, cliff the other day, where basically they were taking a bunch of images of this dude, and his armor looks fucking amazing. Um, the next image we have is of young Rhaenyra and young Laenor. Now, the actress that's playing Rhaenyra, I believe, has been... Uh, 100% confirmed, like HBO officially announces, it announced it, and that's Emily Alcock, and uh, it looks as though there is a director of photography or someone telling them where to stand, obviously for the best lighting, um, and then we have the actual, this image right here may be the first actual on-screen scene that we get to see, this guy's got the full, uh, I think that's a red, I don't know, one of those like $50,000 insane cameras, but he's filming the two of them, and this looks like this is going to be officially, like, in an actual episode, and most likely, like, one of the first episodes. Um, now, I will note that the fucking, ah, the costumes, 
are insanely good. I did see people complaining about the wigs, but you got to realize that we're looking at it in natural lighting. It's not going to look like this on the TV series. So the wigs will be sort of enhanced aesthetically. Uh, and don't worry. I don't, I don't know why people give a shit so much about the wigs. The costumes look fucking amazing. Uh, and then we get to see uh, Lainor, and he's sort of pulling his sword. I, I, I'm not going to be super shocked if his death isn't, like, uh, sort of unexpected. Like, obviously, we know he's going to die, but the way that, and, and, and I'll just sort of keep the spoilers light here, the way that he dies in the story is, is a bit mysterious, and I'd like to know more about, uh, like, the way the show chooses to go, like, we've already seen, uh, Lena's coffin, or, sorry, Lena's coffin, and her death will likely be one of the first few episodes, uh, we're gonna get flashbacks to, obviously, when she was still alive, so it'll be interesting to see more of that dynamic, or the mystery that follows, like, if we get to see Damon and Lena's relationship more expanded upon in this, uh, story, and then the next image we have is a long, Big, drawn out, big shot. And we have the CGI elements all around, so there are dragons in this scene for sure. And it looks as though it's a meeting of the minds, so to speak. This could, of course, be Rhaenyra and Laner's, uh wedding, but one thing that's missing is the partying until you see this guy. Uh, just kidding, but no, I think this is Laner and Rhaenyra's wedding, um, this would be a beautiful backdrop, and obviously, they are most likely either gonna get married on Driftmark, or on Dragonstone, I'm not really sure, you all let me know what you think down below in the comment section, and I've made a bunch of these videos lately, so this seems like a good point to get out of here, I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching, if you could please subscribe, turn your notifications on, and then slap a like on this video, the like goal is gonna be for 2069, my name's Mark, and dragons are coming back, baby. Long night, Sir Hunts. This has been Sir Hunts. Reviews. Thanks for watching. Oh, ah, 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 oh, boom. Oh, yeah. Zeldriza's supposed to have a